Hi everyone, welcome back again. Hope you all are doing good. I think you understand what this video is about by looking at the thumbnail and the title. Yes guys, this video is about my eldest son birthday and his birthday videos are available on my channel. I will give the link in the description box. Please check how we celebrated his birthdays. We used to take them outside to play on their birthdays. He had never been asked to celebrate his birthday before. But seeing their friends birthdays, he wanted to celebrate his birthday too. He asked me to invite his friends on his birthday. But I said no and said I will take them to the play area as usual. His face changed as soon as I said that. Then I decided to celebrate his birthday at home. But I did not tell him because I wanted to keep it as a surprise for him. This is the first time. He is celebrating his birthday. We have never done this before. So I decided to cook everything at home. I wanted to make pizza but I didn't have cheese. I thought of this plan the night before his birthday. So I prepared some simple, easy, quick and delicious recipes with what I had in my pantry. And I also conducted the games for kids. Not only my son but all the kids enjoyed it very much. In this video, I wanted to share the recipes as well as the celebrations with you all. I hope you will like this video. Keep watching. I prepared chocolate cake, pasta, egg puff, potato sandwich, french fries and orange juice. My kids love the chocolate cake. That's why I made it. But I made it for the first time. I have put out all the ingredients required for the cake. When all the ingredients come to the room temperature, I will start making the cake. Meanwhile, I took 6 potatoes, peeled them and cooked them in a pressure cooker until soft. Here I boiled 6 eggs for the egg puffs. That day we had a simple breakfast because I didn't have much time to cook anything else. I had leftover rotis from last night so we had those rotis in milk. After my husband went to the office, I started making the cake. Vanilla cake video is available on my channel. Please check. I will give link in description box. First of all, I am preparing the cake tin. I need a smaller tin for the size I am going to make the cake. But I don't have that one. So I am using it. Here I took piece of parchment paper. Then folded the paper in half in repeated folds. Until a thin triangle was formed. Now cut to the size of the cake tin. Now brush a little oil to it, then fitted the paper inside the tin. Here I sift all the dry ingredients, which are 1.5 cup all-purpose flour, half cup cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon baking powder, a pinch of salt, and 1 by 4 teaspoon baking soda. Mix once, then keep it aside. In a jar, I am adding 2 eggs, half cup of sugar and half cup of oil and grind it well. See here, the consistency should be like this. Here I am preheating the oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Add it to the floor. Now in the same jar add half cup of milk and 1 teaspoon vanilla essence and grind it. Now mix in cut and fold method. Here I 
Here I am adding little milk as the batter is a bit stiff. Now take this batter into your tin and tap it 3 to 4 times. Doing this the air bubbles will be gone. Now bake it at 170 degree celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. To know if the cake is baked, if you insert a fork, it will come out clean. Now the cake is very well baked, let it cool down. I wanted to cut the cake into layers and apply the cream in the middle, but I couldn't find my electric mixer beaters in time. I didn't have time to search for that, so I wanted to prepare a cake with ganache. Here I am making milk serum. I take half cup of milk and one tablespoon of sugar in a bowl, mix well until sugar dissolves. I will pour this mixture on the surface of the cake. This makes the cake smooth. For the chocolate ganache, I took dark chocolate. Alternatively, you can replace dark chocolate with galaxy or dairy milk chocolate. I cut the chocolate into small pieces and put them in a bowl. Then I heated half cup of whipping cream in a pan. After it gets hot, pour it into the chocolate and mix well. That's it, the chocolate ganache is ready. I put the cake on the stand first, but I thought the ganache would spill onto the counter. So I removed the stand and put the cover on the countertop. It can be removed easily. Now keep the cake on the cover. Now pricking the cake with fork. After pricking the cake, I pour this milk serum on the surface. Finally, pour the ganache over the cake and spread it evenly. That's it. Chocolate cake is ready guys. Now I am going to put it in the refrigerator to harden a bit. In the meantime, I took some white chocolate to decorate the cake a little. To melt the chocolate quickly and easily, use this trick. Take the chocolate in a piping bag and place it in the hot water like this. See how the chocolate has softened. Then cut the tip of the bag and decorate the cake with this white chocolate. I have already told you in the previous video that I am not an expert in baking and decorating. I decorated it simply. That's it chocolate ganache cake is ready guys. After lunch, I started preparing other dishes. Here I am preparing onion curry for egg puff, which is very easy and simple recipe. Heat 3 tablespoon oil in a pan, add 4 medium sized chopped onions along with some salt and sort it until transparent. While frying the onions, I mash the potatoes and remove the boiled eggshells. Add 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste to the onion. Fry until the raw smell goes away. Then add half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, one and a half teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon red chilli powder. Mix everything well and cook on low flame for two minutes. Finally add some coriander leaves and cook for another 1 minute then switch to the flame. Now I am making a potato curry for a sandwich. Heat 2 tablespoon oil in a pan. Add 1 medium sized chopped onion and sort in medium flame for 1 minute. Then add chopped capsicum and carrots. Fry in low flame for 2 minutes.
Now add half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chilli powder, salt to taste, one teaspoon coriander powder, and half teaspoon black pepper powder, and mix everything together. Fry in low flame for one minute. Adding three tablespoon of ketchup. Then add handful of coriander leaves and mix well. Finally, add the mashed potatoes. Mix everything well and then switch off the flame. Now I am going to prepare simple tomato pasta. For that I took 4 peeled tomatoes in a jar and grind it without adding water. Here I took 4 cups of macaroni, boiling it with salt and little oil. Now take a vessel and heat 4 tablespoon oil. Now in this add 5 to 6 chopped garlic cloves and 1 large size onion. Fry in medium flame for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes add tomato paste and mix and cover with lid. Cook in medium flame for 3 to 4 minutes. Now add half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, salt to taste, half teaspoon black pepper powder and mix well and cook till tomatoes release oil. Meanwhile I am taking puff pastries on a baking tray. Here I am using Swiss pastries. Now it is well cooked. Check the salt at this point. Then add 5 to 6 tablespoon of tomato ketchup, 1 tablespoon of soya sauce and 1 tablespoon of red chilli sauce. And mix well. Cook for another 2 minutes on low flame. Finally add the boiled macaroni and cook in low flame for 2 minutes, then switch off the flame. On the puff pastries, I put some onion curry and half of the boiled egg. Then I seal the edges of the pastry using the slurry. Here I am applying the beaten egg on the puffs. Now bake it in preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. The egg puffs are baking in the oven. And now I am making the sandwiches. Place the potato mixture on the bread and place a cheese slice on it. Again put another bread on it. Now add butter to the pan and fry until golden color on both sides.
both the egg puffs and sandwiches are ready and I put them in the oven to keep them warm. I have these oranges, that's why I made fresh orange juice for children. Here I am frying french fries. These are all recipes. How is it? Please leave a comment on how it looks in the comment section. He celebrated his birthday with his friends for the first time. He was really very happy with this surprise. Please bless my boy who is watching this video. After the cake cutting, I organized some games and drawing competition. Not only my kid but all kids will enjoy a lot. Allah 
I hope you like this vlog. If so, please give a thumbs up. Please share and subscribe my channel Amis Paradise. We will see in my next vlog. Till then, take care. Bye. Allah Hafiz.